All right. So I've got five couples, and I'm trying to figure out a three-man committee. And nobody can be married. That's on a subcommittee. Co committee. So let's first figure out how many three-person committee three-person committees can we come up with out of ten people. Now that will include some married people, but I will end up figuring out how many of those couples are married, how many of those committees have married people on the committee, and also track those off. But for right now, let's just choose, let's figure out how many three member committees I can choose from 10 people. Five married couples, that's 10 people. Okay, so when we choose these people, if I choose Rita, Michael, and let's say Rita, Michael, Tom, that's the same subcommittee as Michael, Rita, Tom. So order doesn't matter. And if order doesn't matter, our counting method is a combination. And this is the formula. M choose N. M people total, and you want to choose N at a time. And the formula is M factorial over N factorial times M minus N factorial. And factorial, M factorial is M times M minus 1 times M minus 2 on down to 1 factorial. For example, this has nothing to do with the problem. 3 factorial would be 3 times 2 times 1 or 6. All right, I've got, I've got 10 people and I want to choose 3 people. So that's going to be 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial. So that's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. I'm going to stop right there and you'll see why in a minute. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 times 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial. See how I can cancel those out? And then I can go 2, we're going to 8 4 times. And 3, we're going to 9 3 times. So that's 12 times 10. That's 120 possibilities. 3 man committees. But some of those committees have got a married couple on there. So let's figure out how we figure out how many committees have a married couple. Well, I've got a three-man committee. We're going to use the fundamental counting rule. Let's talk about that first. If you've got M ways to do, let's say you have, well, M ways you can do one thing and N ways you can do something else, you have a total possibility of M times N ways. M times N. For example, if I've got if I've got 10 tops and two pair of pants, I've got 20 outfits. All right, so let's say these first two positions, that's my married couple. How many, way, how many choices do I have for a married couple? How many married couples do I have? Well, I have five. All right, now I've got one person left over to do this third man on the committee. I've already filled two of my positions. I had eight people, two of them had already been chosen, and that's a couple. How many choices do I have left? I have eight. So five times eight is 40. So you take a total of 120, total number of committees, and there's 40 of those committees that have got a married couple on there. Subtract that out and you get 80.